all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so i actually have gotten a new computer over the past week it's been pretty stressful building and everything but i wanted to ask you guys real quickly uh how the audio is whether it's in game or my voice i could always adjust it but i just need your feedback so please let me know what you guys think of it is the audio too loud too quiet right now i think in game nothing's actually happening but Anyway, just need your feedback, and what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at the whole crystal system, because as you guys know, there has been the crystal preset thingy, and I have a lot of crystals that I need to adjust, and a lot of them got sent back, uh, especially with your tags and all that stuff. So, I think I might actually be missing a few crystals, and I think they said there was a bug, so... Yeah, I have a few crystals that I think are missing, and uh, that's not good. Anyway, let's figure it out. So the way it works is you, t you use your crystals tab, right? And then you can put your crystals in here. And then so that's what I put mine in. Now I'm really happy there's a PVE and PVP one. And the way you actually put your crystals in, as far as I understand, is your Black Spirit and go to the Transfusion. And then you could set up your, uh, like, five different tabs they have. So what I did was a PvE setup, PvP, DR, Evasion, and a set for when I do, like, seasonals and stuff where I don't want to break my main crystals. And um, usually I don't have a problem. Usually I very rarely die to PvE. And if I do, it's going to be on my main when trying new stuff. But I just wanted to have, like, a crystal set for when i'm on like seasons and everything with like cheap crystals that i wouldn't really care about so uh yeah with that said let's start with the pve one and figure out how the system actually works first all right so basically these three slots here are for um like your three s slots you get from the fiery as far as i understand uh, one from your costume if you have that um so i think two slots are this one and one slot is from the armor so that's my understanding of it and if you only have one like if you have the karanda's heart I, I believe this will just be locked so let's figure this out um i don't want to put anything in too early just to test it just because i think i might have to remove them and i don't know if it costs anything Let's start with the relevant ones. Um, so this one's PVE, right? Let's see. Oh, you could just free remove them as... I assume as long as you don't... If you hit apply, then does it cost to remove? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, so we could be a little bit more lenient with how we build. So a PVE one, let's put in these crystals first, right? Uh, everyone should use these. Uh, this is the crystal for... Oh, wait. Hold on. Um, crystals. Here, let's put in one of... Wait. Okay, so... You know, these sell for 400 mil. And these are the ones that you get for your old outfits. From everything. And, uh... Now that we only need, like, a few of them, uh, can you reuse crystals, or... I'm not sure. So, like, if I use... The middle one will always be for your armor, right? So, let me see. I'm gonna put the Valor in, because crit hit. But can I also use Valor again? Oh, okay. So, you can use the crystal as many times as you have it. But I... I read in the patch notes that all the crystals are, like, the same break rate if you die to PvE or something. Or if you go red, the break rate is the same. So if you lose them on all, like, if you lose this crystal, for example, you don't lose uh, the, these in general, the armor ones. But if you die and lose a crystal, you lose it on all your tabs, is my understanding. Okay, so cool. Um... Let's see, and then everything else... I don't know, actually. We'll figure this out. And all of these, I'm not sure if they're the same or not. Let's see. I will put... 
corrupteds over here because these are offhand. I don't think it really matters where it goes. It's just like, do you have it equipped? And let's use these over here. We have the Jin special evasions. I want those to be there. Um, L cars. Honestly, you don't really need L cars for PVE as much. Like, assuming you have enough gear, you should be fine. But you do need them in PvP, so let me put them in here. And then special evasion is generally... Wait. Hold up. Can you only have one? Wait. What the heck? Oh, wait. Mm. Okay. Well, as long as I have two of them. I thought you just had to have two. Okay, never mind. I'm I'm dumb. Just don't mind me. Um, so for my helmet, I personally These are my helmet ones. Dude, that's so weird. Look how this look how this works. So like I have two harpias. These are the exact same, right? I put one down and I still have one. Dude, that's so weird, like how that works. But then I remove this one. Like I have two of them, yes. And then I dude, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Hold on. <laughs> And then the last thing would be these. So these are my original crystals that I've always had, right? And... Okay, so it tells you which one you have applied. Good. So for my PvP ones, let's obviously set these. These are different. Um, usually with PvP, you want more human damage. But they did change that a little. These are what I used, though. And then... Ultimately, use... Corrupteds, either way. Wait, hold on, let me see my bag. Why do I have three of them? Uh, hold up. Let me fix that. I didn't know. Oh, I just put one in here. Let me see. Transfused crystals can be removed by clicking the trash bin icon, but removed crystals will be destroyed. You can remove crystals without destroying them by visiting a blacksmith. Oh, so if you want to take it back. Okay, um, let me, let me figure this out. Yeah, let's use the ones that already have it. Because I don't want to use a duplicate one. Like, it doesn't matter, but I'm just, like, kind of picky with it. So, for PvP, I do like having resist crystals. And one thing I was kind of going for was... I was thinking... If this one was worth going for. Like... The difference between is knockdown versus stun stiffness resist. And I'm not sure. I might try it out later. And definitely for PvP, accuracy is very important. Okay, so PvP is applied. PvE. Now, I don't particularly have any evasion crystals right now, but if I did, I'd put them there. Um, for DR, obviously, you just... It doesn't really matter. Like... I think for the most part, I would have PvP crystals for most things. But I'm not really sure. I'll figure these, like the evasion and DR ones later, but I wanted to show you guys. This is something I made a video of a few, like, weeks ago. 
I, I wanted to do some crystals for like beginner players and this is the perfect opportunity. So like if you are a seasoned character or like this is your first time playing the game and you don't have billions of silver worth of crystals, here's what I would do. So you take these precisions. These are beginner crystals, right? Cool. Um, These are going up in price, by the way. So if you have them, don't sell them. We'll take two of these. Ooh, why are these crimson flame crystals so expensive? What in the world? Uh, let's not use those then. Hold up. Yo, why is there still Christmas music? It's January 4. Um, okay, so back to the crystals. We're gonna do beginner crystals now. I don't know why they gave us this, to be honest. Like, it was just in my mail, so I took it. I think everyone got it. So, like, cool, I think. Uh, let's put these here. These in there. Dang, you can only have 50 crystals? What a... Why? Okay, so. For lobies... We're not going to put any in here for low level crystals because I assume that beginners don't really have um, Garmoth's hearts and stuff. However, we will use a, a movement crystal for beginners. This is one that you can get from seasoned characters and I believe like all you have to do is get the coupon and whatnot. So I think movement is slightly better. Like crit damage. Actually, no. Crit damage is probably better. But, uh, I don't know. I do like movement speed. I don't think that either one is a bad option. So, beginner crystals. Let's start with evasion, or not, precisions. Because these are very cheap to get off the market. And, like, they're basically the equivalent of uh, L cars with, like, four less accuracy and not 60 mil. So, yeah. So, we'll start with that. And then for crystals that are, I would also use are Magic Crystals of Infinity. Um, these are very cheap. They're like 1 million. Easy to make. And I wouldn't really be concerned if they got destroyed. Um, definitely we don't use the expensive crystals on the beginner set. So let me figure this out. Um, so I know they gave us more in Heidel from like, if you have a tagged character, this is where it would go. Uh, let me, let me actually look at these real quick. <laughs> yeah, these are, in theory, supposed to be for your tags. So. So, I think these are the old Tidex Crystal Adventures that they give you. It's only 10% XP. And this one is technically better. So, these are something you get from playing Seasons. And even if you don't. You can get these ones, so I think these are okay to use. And I would be fine using them, so. Put these in their helmet slots. I believe these are helmets, right? Wait, there's no limit to how many of these you can use? Oh my god, I can just like stack fat XP. Okay, so for these, let's see, what crystals would I be missing? Um, so for beginners, let's see, we don't have chest piece. We do have, we do have the gloves one equipped and then shoes. Uh, it's a little different. So one things I would do as a beginner, I would either, I would buy the hooms off the market. But for me, I personally have some other ones that are like this. And I believe that these are the ones you should go for. However, as a beginner, I would absolutely go for four whoms. And I would do the um, ones that don't, like, you have little risk of breaking. And so, aside from that, you would want special evasion crystals. Because these are the cheap ones that you can actually just straight up make.
Okay, so over here, we'll have two of these. These are basically the same thing the, as the high tier ones, like the Jin ones, but they don't have HP on it. But realistically, the high or the most important part is the special evasion or the special attack evasion 10%. So that's what you want. So here we have the offhand helmet, uh, chest piece. This is gloves, I believe. No, wait, hold on. No, this is main hand. And um, vipers and the glove ones early on are, let's see, what would I go for, actually? And do I even have extras? I guess it, you, there's no, like, actual armor piece that it relates to, but I guess this is what we all know, so that's how I'm relating it. Um... Ooh, this is kind of weird. Oh, God. Hold on. Imagine dying to PV, like, life skilling. Because I actually, unironically, did this for life skilling. So, uh, let's fix that, actually. Honestly, DR, like, get this out of here. Let's change this. Let's change this to life skill. Okay. So, the difference between all of this and life skill is really just um, durability reduction in your main hand. And you, unfortunately, you can only have two of them, which, I mean, it makes sense because imagine having 100% durability reduction you just life skill until your energy is zero without repairing um and here obviously you want movement speed for life skills that's the most important part um realistically i don't think you need anything else this is the life skill one unless they have a life skill crystal let me let me go look that up i don't think they do Gervish? Uh, no, that's... Gervish is, uh... Grinding. Okay, so yeah, for life skills, you don't... The only thing I would recommend is <clears throat> basically these. And there is zero shot I am putting in any real crystals for it. It's not that I think I'll die life skilling, and if you do, that's like a skill issue. But just for the sake of not doing anything, I can avoid 100%. Okay, so PVE right here. This is basically the same thing I've been using the only time. They're like, all. Let's try that again. This is what I've been using originally in PvE. Uh, the difference is what I might change is maybe now that we can actually just free extract, um, I might change out the accuracy. And actually, I might change out the harpias for PvE because you don't need it for most things. However, the PvP is pretty accurate. That Yeah, PvP is pretty accurate, same thing. Um, life skills, this is all you need. Durability. Beginner crystals. Um I I don't know actually. Since you have that in the... Uh, I would, yeah, you know what? Let's just use four basic ho or basic hooms. Two of them, actually. Two is better. Why do I have that? Literally don't know. It did. They just gave it to you. I mean, I guess I'll use it since it was free. <laughs>
Um, okay, so basically... You could put four basic hooms in here. It's not a big deal. I think yes. it's fine to use four hooms. Um, but I guess I'm going to use this one. There's like... I mean, extra AP to monsters and survivability is like good for beginners. And there's no limit, so... I do want an accuracy one just for for the sake of having it but like this is only half of it so let's see a viper crystal that's a hundred mil what in the world hold up wait yo yo hold up hold up let's solve this we got this yesterday from logging in Uh, okay. Black Magic Crystal Viper. I swear I think I have that somewhere. If I don't have it... Uh-oh. Change that with the Black Magic Crystal, I believe. There's so many of them. Uh, do I have it on another character? I have the basic ones on boss characters. Oh, either way. Ooh, that flash pink. What in the world? Either way, if you need them, like, here's how you do it. You uh, do the dungeons and then... You turn it into a black magic crystal. So all I have to do is just like the dungeon one time and then we're good. Either way, not a bad, not a bad thing. I can, I can get it. Um, yeah, I got to figure out what to do with these. These are like, these are all my tagged characters. So like, do you just. Uh. What are people doing with these? Oh, I'll just keep them here. I don't know what to do with them. You know, honestly, I feel like I should just use these, like the crystals I had, and not the expensive ones that I've already set up. But, you know, ultimately, it's not a big deal. Realistically, if I just have backups, I'm, if I die, I die. I lose the cost ones that you could sell. But I'm not upset. Either way, the only thing that's really <laughs> like a shocker is like I wake up with 3 billion extra from all of this. From my other outfits, that's cool. But yeah, I think that's it. I just want to show you a little preview of the crystals and how I would go about doing it. Um... Yeah, for all of you beginners out there, this is what I would do. Uh, if you want four hooms, just put four hooms. Like, realistically, it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, these are the crystals I would do as a beginner. And, like, let's say your seasons or something. And you don't want to put, like, the super expensive ones in. This is what I do. Put a viper in or something. Another hoom. It doesn't matter. It's like, literally any slot would be fine, to be honest. But, yeah. With that said, that's it. This is my PvE one, or... Yeah, this is PvE. Basically the same thing as before. I'm, I might change out the Harpias for something else, but I don't know what yet. Um, right now, it's fine. The extra HP recovery, or HP, it's fine. And then for PvP, the only difference was basically the PvP crystals. And this is, I think, more set in stone than anything. Life skill. This is all you need. Uh, for people who do... Both DR and evasion, like you have a tag for, I don't know, an evasion character versus DR. Good to have that as well. I'll probably fill that in throughout the year when I actually get them. But, yeah. And then this one is for our beginners. Um, realistically, if you just want to grind faster, just put in another 
resplendent crystal. And then since there's no limit to how many you can have, literally you can fill the entire thing up with... Let's see, how many would that be? Um, is it three? Six? Seven, eight, nine, ten. You, we don't count the center one, I don't think. Ten, thirteen. Yeah, you can have 140... What, 280% extra combat XP for XP boosting yourself? <laughs> I don't know. Um, realistically, getting yourself to like 61, 62 is not that difficult. But yeah, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.